Now, over 60, 60 years ago, thousands of Shona people left their ancestral homes in what is today part of Zimbabwe to spread their religious beliefs across East Africa. Although they've retained their heritage, they have since integrated into Kenyan communities. And now they've launched a bid for Kenyan citizenship. CGTN's Wilkiston Yabwa has more. <laughs> Many hands make light work, and many voices foster a sense of unity in this foreign land which they now call home. These are members of Zimbabwe's Shona community who live in Kenya. This church was founded in the capital, Nairobi, more than 50 years ago. The first Shona missionaries arrived in Kenya in 1961. 73-year-old Joanna Dube arrived years later as part of another group. They wanted to spread the teachings of the Gospel of God Church, but settling into a new country was hard. When we came, our parents didn't have much money, and it was difficult for them to find work, so I didn't complete my education. Dube and other nuns lived at the church. Their family members, however, spread out across Kenya. Kiamba, on the outskirts of Nairobi, is home to a vibrant Shona community, they have found acceptance here, even intermarrying with locals, but a dark cloud remains. Despite forging a relationship with Kenya's first president, Jomo Kenyatta, the Shona community could not be registered as Kenyans. There was no provision in the post-independence constitution for people who were not of Kenyan descent to become citizens. It has rendered them stateless, and without the necessary documents, they can't travel freely or access public services. We don't own any land. Many of us have decided to make items that we can sell because without the proper documents, we can't get jobs. Many have seen the developments in Zimbabwe on television, the political upheaval and swearing in of a new president. They say it feels like a distant dream of a place most have never been. After the Kenyan government granted the Makonde from Mozambique citizenship in 2017, the Shona community were encouraged. We still insisted and pushed, pushing. That's when we came up by some of the people, like we can say some of the, some, some of the government officials who started explaining to us where we should start or what we should do in order to get on the line so that we can be documented. I'll never go back to Zimbabwe. There's nothing left for me there. The eldest remaining member of that first group of missionaries is 101 years old. The rest are children of a different generation, stuck between two worlds, neither of which has accepted them yet. For the over 4,000 members of the Shona community who have settled in various parts of Kenya, this feels like home, but it won't officially be home unless the Kenyan government acknowledges, accepts and grants them citizenship. Wilkisanyawa CGTN in Kiamba, Kenya.